This is a village in the middle of a city. This is a river in the middle of a gorge. And this is an Anthony Gormley statue in the middle of the river. But why is this village so Instagrammed? What's so special about it? And why is it in the middle of a city? Welcome to Scotland Unplugged, the very grammable, very TikTokable Dean Village. Take a wander down to Edinburgh's West End and a quick walk down the hill and you'll find the Water of Leith, a river that carves its way down from its source in the Pentland Hills. These are Pentlands. Through the heart of the city and on to the shore at Leith. This is the shore at Leith even though it might sort of look like I've run away to Amsterdam. But this, Dean Village, is probably the most snap-happy part along the route. It's one of the most photographed places in Edinburgh, and in the days of social media, probably its worst kept secret. Dean Village has had quite a lot going on over the years. There are remains along the river that date back to Neolithic times, but at its peak in the 18th century, there were 76 mills along its 23 mile length. I used to run through it on my way to work, and to be honest, I've always loved it. Quiet, cobblestones, river, trees, old buildings. There's a lot to like when you're trying to unwind after a long day but I never knew much about it. So what's the deal? Is it just pretty? And if so, how come? Surely there must be some kind of darkness I can root out. The Dean is actually the gorge or the valley the river cuts through. In the past, Dean village was known as Water of Leith village or Miller's village and they milled everything there from flour to textiles over the course of 800 years in the dark, satanic mills. Okay, maybe they weren't that dark or satanic. This is Well Court. It was commissioned by Sir John Finlay, the owner of the Scotsman newspaper, and designed as model housing for workers and completed in 1886. Living here came with certain conditions though. There was a curfew and church attendance was mandatory. This is St Bernard's Well. It was supposedly discovered by some boys who were fishing here in 1760. The structure you can see was designed by the painter Alexander Naismith in 1789. It's obviously modelled on a Greco-Roman temple. It even has a pineapple on the top. Very exotic. It's a good example of how the city was embracing all things neoclassical at the time of the Enlightenment, when they were selling themselves as the Athens of the North. They must have done a good job, because the name stuck. That's a statue of Hygieia, the Roman goddess of health. People used to come here to take the waters, apparently. It would cure your blindness, arthritis, muscle pain, chicken pox, any of the medieval diseases that started with the. Although I wouldn't drink the water now, the pipes are made of lead. One notorious visitor was Victor Frankenstein, who was admittedly fictional, but that does tell us that Mary Shelley might have been here. This is Dean Bridge. Designed by the engineer Thomas Telford, and built between 1829 and 1831, it spans four arches and stretches 30 metres above the water, depending on the weather. Two people have been famously killed here, one by Ian Rankin and another by Peter May. Admittedly, that also happened in books. I'm trying. What Dean Bridge did kill, though, was the village itself. The gorge was always in the way, by building this bridge and another on the opposing side, the architects of the city could expand to the north. Edinburgh built up around this area. The bridges to the east and west meant people just bypassed it 
it fell into decay up to the 1970s when people started to realise that actually it was a calming forgotten space in the middle of the city. Then they started buying up workers' cottages and old mills, and if they were lucky, moving here. And then Instagram was invented, and the rest is history. I have tried to find the darkness, I promise. Unfortunately, there just doesn't seem to be much on show. So, you'll just have to try to cope with the stunning views, I suppose. See you next time. When I promise, there will be decidedly more gore. <laughs>